Folks, Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician here. Let's see if we can get some of these timing components installed on this GM Ecotec engine. First of all, let me see if I can get you set up so you can kind of see what I have going on in here. All right, let me get this camera set up for you. Okay, so hopefully you can see well. Now, first thing I wanna point out is I've got my new water pump installed. I've got the gear installed. You're going to torque these bolts down to 89 inch pounds. Now, the next thing I'm going to install are going to be my balance shaft gears. This is going to be your exhaust. This is going to be your intake, okay? So I'm gonna go get those, making sure that I pay attention to where they're going and all that other good stuff. All right, so now I got my gears. And one of the things that I like to do with any of these timing gears that you know get oiled, is I like to kind of soak them in oil before I install them. So we've got our intake balance shaft gear. That's gonna go on the intake side, okay? And then we've got our exhaust balance shaft gear all right notice it says exhaust and that's going to go on the exhaust side okay <clears throat> now we're going to get our bolts installed there you go And then using the same method that I showed you to get them uninstalled, which is your punch and all that, go ahead and snug them up. All right, and then once you've got these snug, you know, don't wrench down on them, just get them snug up so you know they're installed and in there. Okay, you're gonna go back and you're gonna get your torque wrench and you're gonna torque these down to 35 foot pounds. That's what these need to be torqued down to. So I'm gonna go get my torque wrench and torque them down to 35 foot pounds. Okay, once you've got these torqued down to 35 foot pounds, which by the way, 35 foot pounds, that's not a whole lot. So, you know, it's not something you need to wrench down on majorly or anything like that. Uh, next thing to do is install your crankshaft sprocket and again I like to just kind of soak this stuff in oil before I do there you go now when you install your crankshaft sprocket you want to make sure that the keyway is at the 12 o'clock position and then down here there is going to be another timing mark at the bottom of the sprocket, that little dot is gonna line up with the mark on your engine block, all right? Then, if you haven't done it already, go ahead and install your oil squirter. And at this point, double check everything, make sure you're good to go, and we can go ahead and get our timing chain installed. All right, so now that we got all that installed, I'm gonna go ahead and get our chain installed. Okay, and so remember, I like to soak things in oil, so I've got my chain soaked in oil. And then you're going to start, you're gonna find the two links that are closest together. Okay, and if you have to, you may need to count. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we're gonna take the two links, colored links that are closest together. All right, we're gonna start at our on our exhaust. 
and you want to put that colored link on your mark okay on your mark and you want that to be at the 12 o'clock position then we're gonna come over here and actually you want to get it over your oil deal because that that could get in the way so let's get our link on here okay and like I said make sure that that link is there and that you're at the 12 o'clock position so then we're gonna come over here I'm struggling with this one actually a little bit here guys hold on a second here Where yeah there you are all right okay so that links gonna go there at the 12 o'clock position then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna match that up with our link here and that's gonna be at about the six o'clock position okay so you get your link set there and then we're gonna go up and around Okay, so now we got one at the 12 o'clock position. We're at the six o'clock position. We're gonna go up and around our water pump. Okay, get it on your water pump. All right. And then to ensure that we are where we need to be here, you wanna make sure that this link right here is at, again, the six o'clock position. So again, start here with your intake balance shaft at the 12 o'clock position, come down and around to, I'm sorry, exhaust, blah. <laughs> Guys, I apologize for getting this backwards, again. Exhaust, 12 o'clock position. Intake, six o'clock position. Make sure your links match up. Come up around your water pump and you're gonna come down here. And if you did it right, this link should be at the six o'clock position with your keyway up. If you do not do this correctly, you're going to regret it when you start the vehicle. This engine will vibrate cause all kinds of damage and problems so make sure this is correct where it needs to be now that we got the chain installed we can go ahead and start installing all of our guide rails and all of that other good stuff so I am going to pause it here while I go get the guide rails and show you how to install those okay now that we got our chain installed and you've double checked to make sure everything is lined up you're at the six o'clock position 12 o'clock six o'clock and your colored links are lined up we're gonna go ahead and get our guide rails installed and you want to make sure that the chain lines up in between the two lips uh oh I hear a kiddo calling me yeah baby uh, give me just a minute and I'll come in and get you a cookie. Okay. All right. Sorry about that, guys. So, we're going to go here, okay? And you're going to install your guide rail here. Uh, that could have been actually not good because that's the oil pan right there. Holy smokes, that was close. It would have sucked to have dropped that bolt down on the oil pan. That's how quick a job like this can go south on you. Okay, so. All 
All right. So you're gonna start with your top guide rail. And just make a note, all of these guide rails, nuts and bolts need to be torqued down to 89 inch pounds, okay? So again, remember that's 89 inch pounds. Once you've got that kind of in, I'm just gonna go ahead and hand tighten everything. All right, now once you got that guide rail in, you go ahead and install your other guide rail here. So start with your top guide rail, then go with your second guide rail on the side here. And then just, you know, when you when you first install this stuff, just hand tighten it. Just make sure you make a mental note to go back and torque it down to 89 inch pounds. All of this, all of these guide rails are 89 inch pounds. And again, make sure you're at 12 o'clock here and you're at six o'clock here. Hold on, I think I hear another kiddo call me. What's up? They like to open that door and holler at me. But, you know, I am a father also. So, all right. Now, you're going to install your tensioner down here. Okay, and again, make sure your chain is in between the guide rail. Is in between those two lips. There you go, and the chain is there. And again, 89 inch pounds, hand tighten. All right, now that you've got that installed, you can go ahead and get your tensioner installed. So I'm gonna go and grab that real quick. Okay, and then last but not least, is going to be your tensioner. And you wanna make sure there's no debris or anything like that in there. Actually, I think I see a little piece of dust or something in there. I'll be right back. Okay, and so yeah, just, there's a little something there. Just a little, a little chunk of metal or something, I don't know. So, just make sure there's nothing in there. Clean anything out of there that you can. Okay, wipe that off a little bit, then go ahead and get your tensioner installed. <laughs> I was gonna install it backwards there. It won't let you install it backwards. There's only one way to install it. Okay.
And again, you're gonna torque these down to 89 inch-pounds. Which, in case you're wondering, 89 inch-pounds is not a whole lot at all, all right? So just kind of keep that in mind. If you over torque these bolts, you run the risk of stripping the threads out. If you do that, you're in, you're in trouble. You got a big problem on your hands. So you don't want to leave them loose. You definitely want to torque them down, but you don't want to over torque them because these are aluminum threads and you will pull the threads right out of the engine, leaving you nothing but a hole. So hand tighten, and then go get your torque wrench, and check for 89 inch pounds. All right, and after you've gone through and you've double checked, your torque specs, 35 foot pounds for your balance shaft gears, 89 inch pounds for all of your other guide rails and stuff, double check. You're at 6 o'clock here, you're at 12 o'clock here, you're at 6 o'clock here, and you're at 12 o'clock here. You can go ahead and pull the grenade pin on your tensioner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I love pulling these cool grenade pins. I think that's cool. So now, everything looks good. We're in good shape. All right. Whatever you do, do not turn this engine over just yet because we still have the secondary timing gear to install. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. This will show this, you know, we just covered basically installation of the water pump and the lower timing components, gears and chain. Next video is gonna show you how to install the main chain with the camshaft and all that other stuff. All right, folks. Well, I really appreciate you guys coming out and checking out my video. I, I appreciate you supporting me. If you have any questions concerning this job or any other jobs you have going on, get a hold of me. Shoot me uh, a message in the comments. Uh, check out my email at highgrooveauto30 at gmail.com. I really enjoy helping you guys. I also enjoy hearing back from you getting feedback and other things from you, uh, suggestions on different ways to do stuff. I always enjoy uh, conversing with you guys. So, all right, everybody. Well, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.